Welcome fellow YouTubers to another video from Silver Steeler. In this video, we're going to take a look at the silver bullion I have acquired over the last six months. My goal was 100 ounces. On this table is 91 and a half, and I surpassed the 100 ounce level. I'll explain that a little later in the video. Anyway, I've got this a little bit sectioned off. Across the top is the premium bullion that I paid for. To the left is other countries bullion and a little premium I paid on that. We got starter kits right there where you buy 10 ounces at spot. And over here I got my generic bullion, which costs just a little bit over spot. So anyway, let's dive right, right into some of these sections. Over here I have from Provident Metals, the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. And there's the 10 ounce bar. And then the four one ounce coins that they came out with. Now on these, they no longer make or mint the one ounce coins. You still get that 10 ounce bar, but then one ounce coins are starting to get expensive. So there's those. To the left here, I have the Destiny series, the Dragon. They made four of these two ounce coins different designs that is and I thought the dragon was one of the prettiest ones so that's the only one of the series I got they're quite a bit up there in price and I like to get as close to spot as I can so that might be the only one of those I get for some time another 10 ounce bar there from Silvertown I didn't have any real place to put it on the table so that's why it's up there with the premium it really cost cost me close to spot here this one costs a little bit pictured rocks upper peninsula of michigan is where this lies i know this because i went there and i took this coin with me took a couple pictures holding the coin next to this didn't turn out so well it's quite small compared to where i was at but this coin has been there just a nice little story i know about that coin it's quite a walk to get there too by the way uh presidential medals one ounce they just started this series. I got another video explaining all that. That's a one ounce one. And on the other side, there's George Washington. The other one of the two that they've minted so far. Another five ounce slug. The Apostle Islands from Wisconsin. And just really think these five ounce slugs just really show off the picture a lot better than they do on the quarters that they came out with. America the Beautiful series that just you really see the design on that anyway there's 25 cents now we're going to get to our generic bullion you got some saint augustine i think that came from silvertown some sunshine mint a few one ounce bars from silvertown a buffalo another sunshine mint that's money metals exchange those are one tenth ounce so that's a half ounce there there's their one ounce design and then there's their half round half ounce design three casino coins from various casinos in vegas those are six tenths of an ounce a piece and here in the middle we've got some of that starter silver kits where they sell you 10 ounces of silver at spot price i believe i got this from esteem bullion this is the prospector series over here we have from provident metals their 10 ounce starter kit and these are always nice to get you can only get one in your lifetime i suggest doing it while spots low it's a good way to paying close to spot well actually at spot as you can and then over to my world bullion and these sometimes can carry a little bit more of a premium not the maple leaves but the Cougarans either, but once you start getting to the Libertads, you know, Britannias, Philharmonics, Antigua and Barbuda Rum Runners, South Korean Chuwu, Niue, Double Dragon, the Silver Reverse Pegasus, 
really like that one. Quite a few of them coins have Queen Elizabeth on there. I'll just keep them over on the other side. Otherwise, they'd all look the same practically. You got Fiji's Mermaid. The Australian Kangaroo. Up here, we got the 5 ounce Chad antique type coin. This is one of the ones that I just leave loose and I can handle. Not really going to do a lot of damage to that. That's actually made in the Scottsdale Mint here in the United States. And then last but not least, here's the Silver Eagle that I can't tell whether it's proof, burnished, I don't know what the heck. So I just always leave this one loose. I know it's real silver. The reason I end on that is because if you've seen my other videos with the Silver Eagles, there's about 40 ounces there. I consider that bullion. So in reality, I, I acquired about 130 some ounces in the last six months, adding to my numismatic coins, which I know a lot of you that have watched my videos know I have quite a few of those. That's what I really like. I just diverse find a little silver bullion to, you know, keep it diversified. So anyway, that's going to wrap up this video. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and all those other good things. I'll see you on the next video.